What's up everyone, this is Mitchell. I'm um, just going to give you a quick tutorial over torrenting and all that I know about it. Uh, so let's just get started here. Um, first of all, I want to explain a little bit of what torrenting is in general. Basically what torrenting is, is sharing data between multiple people. And what happens at any one time when you're downloading uh, a file you're downloading from multiple people all at once and you, while you're downloading that data you are actually uploading it also to other people who who are getting that same data file so it's just pretty much just continuous sharing and in the end you end up with the full data file whether it be a movie some music a TV show whatever it may be and then in the meantime you've shared it with a bunch of different people who also want that that's basically what it is. So uh, let's just get started here. I'm uh, I'm on a Mac right now, so I'm going to be doing this based on what I know for Mac. Um, although you can do this on Windows also, it's just going to be a little bit different. You're going to have to download a different program. Transmission, what we see in f like right here in front of me, this is the Mac version. This is what you're going to want to download if you're going to want to torrent on the Mac. I believe on Windows it's called uTorrent. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. Definitely look into that, but on the Mac it is transmission. So download this jank, install it, and put it in your applications, and open it up, and this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like right here this simple little box now the simple little box is turns out is very simple so I'm going to be explaining how to download torrent uh, files from the internet and put them into this program so you can start uh, torrenting all kinds of random shit so uh, let's get started first I'm going to show you the pirate bay the pirate bay is a public torrenting site it's, this can be good and bad good because you don't have to sign up good because you don't have to keep a certain ratio um, from downloading and uploading um, bad because you can get into a lot of trouble with prior public torrenting sites uh, you can you can get caught easily with using these although many people use them so just be cautious of anything like the Pirate Bay, anything public. Uh, that's my two cents for that. Clearbits.net, I'll go back to the main page. This is a totally free torrenting site. Anything on this site is free. You can torrent them and you will not get in trouble. So torrent all you want from this site. I haven't done too much from here but definitely try it out uh, I'm just gonna go to all content here and just grab one of these alright right here it says there's two seeders seeding means that you are giving the program you're seeding the program out to people to download two seeders is actually pretty bad you want probably around ten or more I would say two seeders is pretty bad. Although this is a music file, this won't this won't take too long, but if there's ten or more, it'll probably finish in under five minutes. Um, but with two, it could take a couple hours, uh, even for a CD. So definitely watch this. You want to be downloading. Oh, you want to be downloading things that have high seeders and low leechers. Leechers are the people grabbing the data from the seeders. <clears throat> and if your leechers are higher than your seeders, you're going to have, when you download the file, you're going to have a larger upload rate than download rate. And it will take a lot longer. So just keep that in mind when you're searching for different torrents to download. <clears throat> so as an example, I'm going to download this torrent file and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here I'm going to go to oh, I'm going to go 
here to my downloads and drag it into transmission. Now it comes up with this little box here and there's a bunch of different things that you can uncheck. Most of the time you just want to keep these checked and then down here in the downloads that's where it's going to end up when it's all finished. And then trash torrent file you want this checked because that download file that that the file we downloaded from the internet, it's a torrent file. Those torrent files are very small and all they contain are instructions that tell transmission where to start looking to get data from. You don't need it after uh, transmission has it. So keep that in mind, you always want to have trash torrent file checked. And then start when added, that's pretty self-explanatory, that should be always checked. And then add. And it comes up here, and at the very beginning, nothing's going to be going on because there's no peers that um, we're downloading from. Like it said back here, there's only two seeders, so the maximum number, number of peers will be two. And there's two. And hopefully here, this will change to one or two, hopefully two, and we will start downloading some data. All right. And this is where I was saying it's going to be very slow. Even for a 90.9 megabyte file, it could end up being an hour or more. So definitely make sure that definitely make sure that your torrenting file has a bunch of seeders. I can't stress that enough. That w when I'm searching for a certain CD or movie, I always look to see how many seeders are on the actual different torrents. And that's usually what helps me choose between different torrents of the same data. Um, just just keep that in mind. This isn't too bad. From one peer, we're getting around 60 kilobytes per second at one point. There you are. It's going to take about half an hour. So if this had more, this would be done in probably under a minute, just for 90 megabytes. So there you are. It will download, like I said, to my downloads folder. It's probably already in there. Yep. There's the folder, and that's where it will store the data after transmission is done downloading it. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I just want to add that most people think torrenting in general is illegal. It happens to be legal. The act of torrenting is legal. What makes it illegal is downloading copyrighted data. Um, example, movies, CDs, TV shows. Um, so yeah, definitely watch out for that. I'm not saying don't do it, but just be very careful when doing that. Uh, just just make sure that when you're okay, when you're downloading uh, brand new movies, be very careful who you download from. Actually, I would suggest not downloading any new release movies for a while. Um, just stick to movies that have been out for a while and so they won't be watched as much because when if they could the government um, I don't know who exactly um, gets you in trouble for this I'm guessing the government if once they find your EP or IP um, they're gonna send you a message and it's not gonna be very nice so definitely watch out for that um, so yeah, I mean, that's all that I have to offer for you guys today. Hope you learned something. Um, again, I'm Mitchell. Please comment if you have any questions. Rate and subscribe. Peace.